lacrosse, defined as Canada's national sport. And this Australian will be checking it out today for the very first time. I'll be reacting to two videos, the top 15 plays of the year of men's lacrosse, followed by the rules of field lacrosse explained. So let's get straight into it. I feel like this is a mixture of hockey, NFL, and basketball. You got, they look like NFL gridiron, like padding, looks like, and the helmets, and then you got like the stick that reminds me of hockey, and the goal. I don't know why I said uh, basketball. It, it just reminds this me of that a bit too. Always going a hundred miles an hour. Often to give them more time, right? You gladly okay with this? Oh, what a sweet Ooh, shot! Ooh, that's a good one. Maybe the goal of the year by Lucas Buckley. Great finish by Buckley right there. The patented Sick play. backhand. How easy is it to score though? Like, is it very high scoring games? Because I feel like. It's kind of easy to score. Although, like, wait, hang on. Let's look at this one, for example. So, like, the ball is pretty small. Okay, like, I'd say that's about the size of a cricket ball or tennis ball. So, and you look at the net, it looks pretty big compared to the goalie, who doesn't have padding. What a sweet Ooh. shot! That was a sick Maybe color. the goal of the year by Lucas Buckley! Buckley. Great finish by Buckley right there, the... Had the backhand. Oh, he saved it. Couldn't really tell that. So, do they have padding? I, I can't tell. Because he looks like he's got padding there. But the other guy had shorts. Okay, so I'm not gonna be, uh, I apologize, I'm not gonna look up the rules and stuff, but like, I'm just looking at it, and that's why it reminds me of like, NFL, kind of as well, because they just run towards the, the goal there, like, that looked too easy. I'm guessing it's surely not that simple though, like, I'm sure there's an offside rule, or a, like a, rule of some description, <laughs> like, that, Obviously, kind of. Starts with the pick. Borges tries to you just realized that why it reminds me of NFL. They're playing on an NFL stadium. Go under, but there's no help from Ooh, the um, God, that would that kind of remind me of a hockey goal as well. Starts with the he comes pick. in Borges on this angle, under, and no still with it in his cross on the flip for more. Hey, that's the um the caps. Announcer, so he does the games for cross. Inside wide open, great kick save. Dolan with a phenomenal stop on Williams. I didn't even see it. Saves of the game for Danny Dolan. Six foot five Cole Williams staring you down from three yards out. Saving a few you get me. Well, see, look at the goal there. That reminds me of a hockey goal, but it's higher and thinner. Over 150 alums are back to honor former coach John Paul. There's a fundraising effort. It's oh! Against the 10 man ride. Oh, so is that an empty net? Against the 10 man. There's a fundraising effort. It's oh, oh, it was it? Back to honor former said against John the. Paul. There's a fundraising Actually, yeah, looking at the score here, it's 10 5. So the shots. So it's it's oh, it's against the 10 man ride. Delivers. Colwell. Recognizes like much of the Hopkins defense all game that the goal is free. Oh, it was. It was an empty net. Good 75 yard rope. I guess the other comparison would be uh, football and soccer. Cause... Okay. Great job last week on Krause. What a strike from Max. So I'd like to know how physical you can get in this game because obviously they kind of check them. I'm making hockey terms here because it's the way, easy way to describe it. He's like checking you with his stick there in the back. Like, obviously you can't seriously hit him there with that. 
just trying to do enough not to get a penalty Watch or something. Kevin Mack use the defender as a screen. Foley's got pretty good defense on a pretty good position. Watch him use him as a screen. Thing is, like, it's the same with hockey as well. It's a like very a fast paced game. The like, there's a lot going on because I'm trying to read holiday. all the. <laughs> okay, so I've just noticed as well, and I should have noticed this before. There's players behind the net, so again, it's like hockey where you can go behind. And... I'm just trying to read the game right now, just without even knowing what's going. Notice as well, this is American, uh, the states as well, instead of Canadians. Unless, is the league there like a mixed American and Canadian teams in one league? Across the crease. Little look off there maybe as well. See Dolan step off his line. Kelly takes it for a ride against Coulter. Kelly with a quick feed behind the back. Oof, that's a good one. to the corner. That was, that was, oof, I, I like those goals, I like this, I like this golf course, I like where we, like, you can catch it and just fling it up like that. Spectacular goal by the sharp shooting junior. Oh, is that what they mean as a lacrosse goal in hockey now? I get it, because he lifts it up and loops it over. I see. Ah, I get it. Okay. Okay. Ooh. A dazzling goal from Lucas Buckley. Watch Buckley. Little Buckley gets leverage, and he's going to leave his feet, and that's terrific wrist strength. And he dives outside of the crease. I wonder. So uh, I'm guessing a rule is you can't be on your knees when scoring, or in the actual play. Great individual effort by Lucas Buckley. Because obviously, he, like, uh, with these goals, I'm noticing that they're not on their knees, like, crawling, just, like, scrambling into it's getting leverage. a goal. Yeah. Because he dives. Oh, I see, you can only score inside... No, you can't score inside that circle, maybe, as well. Great individual effort by Lucas Buckley. I'm gonna see the comments, like, telling me all the rules now. <laughs> I didn't, hang on, I, I didn't, I didn't even see where the ball was. Who has it? He does. What happened there? So he got it. Oh, he stopped it. Well, hang on, that one looks different though. This circle is different to... No, that circle's different. Where was that one? Oh, I'm looking at the... I'm looking at the wrong ones. That was very deceiving. It's the white one, not this one. Oh, I was looking at that one from that one. Uh, I see. Oh, left side, looking for a pass. He gets one, a behind-the-back shot and score! Lewis Dubik! Beautiful goal there, and a very important one for the turn. Ooh, I like, I like those ones. They're sick. Which got the ground ball? Amen's got it. Skip pass out in front. Oh! Score! Rutgers. Jack Kelly! What was that one? Which got the ground ball? Amen's got it. Skip pass out in front. Oh! Score! What was good about that one? I'm like, I'm just talking, so it's a loose ball. He flung it. It's a good pass, though. It's good about... There's 38 seconds to go, though, to tie it, so that's probably a good play. It says place of the year, not best place of the year. The ball goes right to, guess who? Number one. And you knew he was going to find someone if they were open. <laughs> and the Penn State met the Lions... Oh, that was to win the championship. Oh, that's why. There. Roll 
dodge. Drawing two, feed it up top. O'Keefe. Oh, that's a slick goal. O'Keefe brings the oh, overtime. Also, oh, they have overtime. Roll dodge. So this is overtime. Two. Feed it up. Doesn't say. I'm guessing there's only one overtime. Top. O'Keefe. That's a sick goal, though. Hang on. Let's see this again. So this is an overtime game winner. Roll dodge. Drawing two. Feed it up top. O'Keefe. Score! O'Keefe brings the curtain down on a classic. Changes direction. Watch the quick slide, and no one. Account. He actually had two guys open. That's a that's a sick shot, though. That was a good shot. <laughs> oh, that was to win the championship too. Nice. All right, I'm gonna do a little quick video on the rules of field lacrosse. Uh, this is only four minutes, so I'm just gonna have a little. Now that I'm now in. Kind of interested in this. This that was like it was some good plays there. Let's see, Ladies, explain the rules of field lacrosse. The object of the game is for your team to score more goals than the opposing team. Can sorry, oh. score more goals than the opposing team. Okay. To score a goal, a player must use his lacrosse stick and shoot the ball into the goal. Mm -hmm. The ball must completely cross the goal line, and the shooting player must not step into the goal crease for a goal to count. Yeah, uh, goals I'll six figure foot that. Wide and six foot high. And the goal crease is eight. Oh, so it's the same amount up and down, not Ah, oh, that's uh that's actually good. Diameter. The field is 110 yards long by 60 yards wide, and the goals are located 15 yards in at each end of the field. The game starts with a face-off. <laughs> Sorry. I had to I had to laugh at that because like hockey brain as well, like watching a hockey game all the time compared to that as a face-off. It's like in hockey you get it. What it's was this? With -off. Starts with the face off. Game starts with the face off. Game so they with... fight fight for it in their sticks. But when they just like Once Anyway, the team <laughs> possession of the ball, they will try and move the ball towards the opposing goalie and try and score. You can pass the ball directly between teammates. Pass it along the ground to a teammate. Oh, you can pass it along the ground. I, I, I was thinking that. I thought maybe that wasn't was a rule. You couldn't do that. Or cradle the ball and run with it. Or what? Or cradle the ball and run with it. The idea is to set okay. up in good position to be able to shoot the ball towards the goal. The opposing team will try and stop you by blocking shots, body checking, or stick checking. So you can. They will try and take the ball. So you kind of can do that, I guess, to a certain extent where it's All legal. From you so that they can score themselves. Goal. The opposing team will try and stop you by blocking shots, body checking, or stick checking. That that's a two-minute minor though in hockey. So. They will try and take the ball away from you so that they can score themselves. Field the cross is played with two teams with ten players on the field at any one time. They consist of one goaltender, three defenders. Three midfielders and three attackers. Oh, okay. The big so it's difference between field. field lacrosse and box lacrosse is that in field lacrosse, you must keep at least four. Oh, hang on a sec. What is that in field? Lacrosse, the big difference between field lacrosse and box lacrosse. Box is lacrosse. That in field lacrosse, you must keep at least four players, including the goalie, in your defensive half of the field. Oh, okay. And you must keep three players in your attacking half of the field. The right. three midfielders may go anywhere on the field they wish. Another difference is that up to four players on each team can use a long lacrosse stick. Oh, so the they have different signs. The game is played in four 15 minute quarters for a total playing time of 60 minutes. Highest score at the end of time wins. wins. the game. Just like in ice hockey, field lacrosse is filled with things you can and cannot do. Yep. <laughs> if you break one of these rules, you will serve a time penalty, leaving your team with one less player and your opponents with a man advantage. The team with a man advantage is known as the extra man offense or man up. This makes it easier to score as there is one less player to defend. Oh, so it's a power play, I see. The team with the man in the penalty box is known as man down, and usually they defend like crazy until the time of the penalty expires. The length of time of penalty depends on the infraction made. Technical fouls such as holding an offside. Oh, 30 seconds? Second penalty. Personal Gee. fouls such as tripping and unsportsmanlike conduct results in a 60 second penalty. 
Major fouls, such as using illegal equipment and disputing with the officials, results in a three-minute penalty. Legal equipment? How how much does that happen? <laughs> so that's basically field lacrosse in a nutshell, but there's a few other things that you'll need to understand before playing or going to a game. For example, offsides. As previously mentioned before, you uh, must he... keep at least four players in your defensive half and three players in your attacking half. This means that you can have a maximum of seven players in your defensive half. Any more than that, and the offending player will be called for offside, and the player sent off for 30 seconds. Sudden death. Oh, so you get penalties though if you're offside. Overtime. Okay. There are no ties in field lacrosse, so overtime periods are played to determine the winner. These periods usually last a maximum of five minutes. First team to score a goal wins. Substitution. The what do they have? Shootouts like hockey? <laughs> They shouldn't, yeah, they need to get rid of shootouts and hockey, that's all I'm saying. And can be made on the fly, so long as it's in the designated area. Shot clock. In Major League Lacrosse only, once you've taken possession of the ball, you have 60 seconds in which to shoot the ball. Oh, okay. The goal. If you haven't shot the ball within 60 seconds, the other team is awarded the ball. Two point oh, that's good, so it's not like you're hogging the half. In Major League Lacrosse only, if you shoot the ball from outside this area, and it goes in, so this two is worth winner. two goals. It's like this a, rule does not so yeah, any, it's kind of like basketball. Any other lacrosse league. That's a lot to take in, but as you watch or play field lacrosse, the rules will become clear. If you found this video at all helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things, and good Yeah, what's very box lacrosse now? Oh, it's indoor. Oh, okay. Rules of indoor lacrosse. The object of the game is for your team to score more goals than the opposing team. To score a goal, a player must use his it just looks like hockey. and shoot the ball into the goal. The ball That's a sick goal there. The goal line and the shoot uh, yeah, so yeah, that was, um, it was interesting. It's, it, cause that's the thing with this game, cause it's obviously diff, similar to ice hockey, NFL, football, soccer, basketball, you name it. It's all kind of those sports together. You could say the same about hockey being like, similar but hockey is a unique sport where you're on ice and that's why i feel like hockey is a different um more of a unique sport compared to other sports and that's why i love it so much so yeah there we go but um definitely i'm i probably i won't i won't be um reacting to hockey as much because obviously i i, I can see people wanting me to react to that but i'm a massive fan already i've seen all the plays i've seen the ovechkin goals i've seen the crosby goals i've seen the Connor mcdavid goals they're insane so reacting to that for the first time, well, it's not the first time, is it? Unless I watch, like, react to, you know, the best hockey plays of the next season without seeing them. So that's all I'll do. But, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this one on lacrosse. I've uh, got to say I've learned a little bit more than what I did before. So that's it. So thank you all. I'll see you next time. We'll get back to you.